The fourth term of an arithmetic sequence is 5 and the 14th term is 15. Quite a basic question, right? We expect this kind of questions and uh, series and sequence. And the first question, 2.1.1, calculate their common difference. So let's take a look at what we are given and make sense of it. It is said that T4 is equal to 5. But we know fully well that T4 is just A plus 3D. So A plus 3D is equal to 5. Okay. And then on the other end, T14 is said to be equal to 15. So we have A plus 13D being equal to, being equal to 15. Right, we want the common difference. So what can we do? We make A the subject of the formula in this equation and make A the subject of the formula in this equation and equate the two. In doing that, we're gonna get A being equal to five minus three D. And then on the other equation, A is equal to 15 minus 13 D. So we can equate these two because they are both equal to A. So five minus three D is equal to 15 minus 13 D. Let's take minus 13 D to the left hand side. We're gonna get plus 10 D, minus three plus 13. This is equal to 15 minus five, which is 10. It should be easy to see that D is equal to one. There we go, 2.1.1. Let's take a look at 2.1.2. Determine the general term of the sequence. So Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D. We have A and D as variables that we need to figure out. We know fully well that D is equal to 1, but what is A equal to? We just need to substitute D into either this equation or this one here. So let's go ahead and substitute it on the first one. We're going to have 5 minus 3 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 2. So in substituting that back into Tn, we would get 2 plus n minus 1 multiplied by the difference, which is 1. So 2 plus n minus 1. So this is equal to n plus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So there we go. 2.1.2, we have Tn. 2.1.3, calculate the sum of the first 22 terms. So S22, well, let's start by saying Sn. Sn is equal to n over 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Well, I've memorized this formula, but it is on the formula sheet. You don't have to really memorize it. So S22 will be equal to the value of n. We're looking for the sum of the first 22 terms. So we're going to have 22 over 2 multiplied by 2. A is 2 also plus n minus 1. n is 22, so if 22 minus 1 multiplied by d. So without trying to act fancy, let me just substitute that in my calculator. So I have 22 divided by 2 multiplied by 2a, so that will be 4 plus 22 minus 1 multiplied by 1. I'm getting 275. Okay, so there we go. The sum of the first 22 terms is 275. To the people who actually wrote this equation paper, if you got any, anything wrong in question 2, there's still a lot of work that you need to do. This question is as basic as they can be. I'm sure if you have been solving previous questions, you should have came across this kind of question at least 10 times. It's very, very basic does not require you to do anything rigorous. You just dig into the basics. But anyway, stories. 2.2, let's take a look. A quadratic pattern has the following properties. T1 is equal to x, so I'm going to put that there. T2 is 7. T4 is 7x, okay? So I have T4, which is 7x. Let's worry about T3. T3 minus T2 is equal to 6. So the, okay, so T3 minus 7 gives us 6. So T3 should be 7 plus 6, which is 30. So this is what we have. The question says, let's find the value of X. For max. So let's see how complicated it will get. Well, we know that 
the difference here will be 7 minus x. The difference here obviously is 6. And here we have 7x minus 13. Okay. So these differences, they form an arithmetic pattern. So <laughs> if we say um, these t2 minus this t1 is equal to this t3 minus t2, we shall get the value of x, right? Because those form a arithmetic sequence and we have a common difference. But let's see, uh, what is 6 minus, so we have, let me write it somewhere else. So we have 6 minus 7 minus x. I'm writing it like this because I don't want to make a mistake. A lot of people will make a mistake here because of this minus sign that is inside outside and this minus sign that is inside so you have to be very careful when you have a situation like that six minus seven is minus one and then minus multiplied by minus will give us positive so we have x minus one which is here and then now we're going to have seven x minus 13 minus six this will give us seven x minus 19 so here we have seven x minus 19 and these two are equals to each other they're equals to each other because that's the second common difference of a quadratic or the difference of the arithmetic which is formed by these terms however you look at it but ultimately we're going to have x minus 1 being equals to 7x minus 19 this is minus 19 and not minus 9 minus 19 so take 7x to the left hand side we get x minus 7x so this is minus 6x and then we get minus 19 plus 1, which is minus 18. It should be easy to see that x is equals to 3. Here we go.